This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 8 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. And before we get started, I want to create another reference image about uh, this. It's the bottom view, and I uh, got it from the uh, YouTube. It's that video I showed you earlier, the Thunderfire Cannon video from Thunderfire Mac. And the um, image I created was at 36 seconds. So I just took it into Photoshop. You can use GIMP, which is a good free software or um, you might even be able to do it in paint, but I just rotated it so that it was straight across on these tracks. And I'll probably link it in the description of the video so you guys can have my image. But what you're going to want to do is go into Max, go into the um, top viewport, create a plane, create a plane, bring the length segments to 1 and the width segments to 1, go to materials, um, then in the diffuse, slide click this button, go to bitmap, then navigate to where you store your images, and open up the image, and make sure to remember these 447 by 297. Apply it to the plane, show the viewport, and then it's going to be 447 by 227, and if it looks weird, do it the other way, and this looks weird, so 227 by 447, and that looks better, um, let me just double check the dimensions, uh, 447, oh, 297, oops, sorry. Nine, seven, there we go. Alright, so now we have this nice plane here. And what you can do is let's see, first you're gonna want to rotate it ninety degrees. Then we're gonna want to just shrink it. Okay, and then move it into position. Expand it a bit. Okay, move it over. And expand it a bit more. Yeah, shrink it a bit more, sorry. Move it back. And now we have a actually a very nice image for our um, reference, which shows us just how off we were before. So we're going to want to do some corrections here. First off, just raise this oops, sorry, above. Um, And then go to or press Alt. Uh, I don't know why. Um, go to Materials and go up Opacity. I think to about 50. Actually, 30 will work too. Okay. And then you're going to want to. Um, freeze it. To do that, go to right click and, well, it doesn't work with Camtasia, but there should be a freeze option somewhere. So. And um, once you finish freezing it, you're going to want to make sure that you go into Object Properties before you freeze it actually, and uncheck uh, Show Frozen in Gray so you can still see the image. Um, but yeah, now that we have this, we can adjust things. So I go into vertex here, just drag this out. Okay, and get, oops, make sure you're in the right view. Um, grab all these verts.
missing some over here. There we go. And move it up. Okay, just get it approximately centered. And then these things just move it over uh, grab all these verts and shrink them in okay grab these move it out a bit actually I can just move it out all the way and grab these just line it up as well. And we'll bring it out a bit farther. Alright. Uh, we'll just mirror this one. for now. Um, Alright, and move these back in place as best you can. jump back into perspective and let's see what we have doesn't look too bad mm. yeah all right um next we're just going to want to three little things. So I just go to your four view mode again, get this perspective, uh, grab all six of these rivets here. Just go on underneath and zoom in over here and shift drag. Okay. Mirror on the Y axis, and then just drag a bit more. All right, looks good. Um, let's see. Next, we're going to want to reposition, go to the left viewport, and try to select all of these rivets, minus that, that, okay, and then just drag them back into position. is most of our scale issues. We'll have to redo these, but that'll be in part 9. So uh, That's it for part 8. I'll see you in part 9.